Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another video for you. So if you didn't see the last video, go check it out. I'll link it up in the corner. It was a complete transformation of this truck, kind of what we've done to it so far. Um, so check it out, it's a pretty cool video. Um, so today, what we got going on is an electric fan, the wiring kit for to wire in that fan. So this one comes with a relay, the harness. And then I, I went with the one that has the probe that you stick into the radiator and I've actually heard pretty good things about them so I figured I'll try it out and I'll link this stuff all down in the description box so if you want to uh, pick up a uh, kit you know where to get it so I believe this one is a 200 degree on and it turns off at 185 so I'm pretty sure that's about what the factory Volkswagen does um, I know they have a two speed and I'm only gonna wire in one speed of the fan but we'll try it out see how it works um, so if you didn't if you haven't watched my previous videos the fan I have on here is from a Ford Taurus and like I said it's a two-speed fan so all I'm gonna be wiring I'm gonna try the low speed since these TDI's really don't get hot very often so I'm gonna try to wire the low speed if I have issues I can always just swap one wire and tap it into the high speed um, so let's get uh, let's get some wiring going. I what I got here is this is a factory Toyota harness, and this bundle of white wires right here is a battery positive. So instead of hooking yet another freaking cable to my battery, I'm going to tap into that. And also there is a switch power wire here. I can't remember which one it is. I'll have to probe it and find it. Um, because the other side of that thermostat or the uh, the probe needs to go into a switch power and it, it does come with the wiring diagram and everything here to show you exactly how to do it so there's the there's the probe one side goes ignition and then you, you run a battery positive right to the relay so let's get this thing in there figure out where we want to mount it and uh, see what we can do all right where I'm gonna mount this relay is right next to these other relays there for my headlights and there's obviously <clears throat> nothing else to mount that to so I'm gonna bolt them all onto this plate here and then bolt that into the body and that will secure all these relays relays onto the uh, onto that plate so that should work pretty good there Alright guys, here's the plate. So I'm gonna bolt the relays to it and then we can bolt it through the body here. Alright, there it is. Relay is all mounted up. So now I can uh, tap some wires in here. And that probe goes, you're supposed to run it on the in the radiator next to the inlet so I'm gonna probably have to pull this radiator off a little bit unbolt it so I can stick that probe in here because that shrouds in the way for it to go on this on the outside plus that'll hide all the wiring you can hide it all underneath this core support so and then yeah we just gotta ground one of these run one wire it's actually the the brown orange wire is a low speed so I'm gonna run that into my relay Tap into power here and ground. I gotta ground one of these wires too. This black here is a ground. And that is really about it. Pretty simple to install. All right guys, we got the power and the ground to the fan here. And I actually just tied into the ground for the relay. And grounded it right up here yeah I know it's a red um, I didn't have any bigger black wire so it'll be all covered up anyway so next I'm going to pull this radiator back a little bit so I can get that probe in and then run this wire and it's actually too short so I had to extend it so that'll run into there and then we've got to run that other wire from from the probe 
back into an ignition source. All right, we got the probe in right underneath the uh, inlet. So both wires are hooked up. One is coming from the relay and the other one is running up and hooked into ignition power here. So last thing I gotta do, hook my power up, which I'm gonna tap into this white here, that is battery power. That was originally from the alternator on this thing, but mine uh, is hooked straight up through the fuse right to the battery. So I'm gonna steal that wire, use that for power. All right guys, power's hooked up, ignition's hooked up, grounds are all hooked up. All right guys, what I'm gonna do to test this thing is just hit it with a heat gun. So I got the ignition on already. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get up to temperature, but we'll see what it does. There we go. Turned on, so everything seems to be wired good. So I'm going to go through and uh, loom all this wiring up, tuck it all up, and uh, put this thing back together. All right guys, we're all finished up and got all that wiring tucked up in there nice and neat and you can see there's the sensor right down there. So if you're wondering, there's nothing on the backside holding that in there but it's kind of halfway held in by all this, this wiring loom back here. It's kind of barely touching it so shouldn't go anywhere plus it's a pretty tight fit actually in there so that's all good to go. One last thing we got to do today for this truck is a little sticker. So, unleaded fuel, ain't nobody got time for that. So, I'm gonna peel that sticker off and uh, throw this diesel sticker on there. Give her a quick wipe down. There we go, diesel only. So that wraps up this video guys, hope you enjoyed it. We got a lot more cool stuff coming for this thing. Uh, I gotta order up some fender flares. We got paint work to do. Um, get some in interior stuff we got. Obviously, I'm gonna be putting a new radio in here, doing something with uh, these holes. I'm not sure, I kinda want to get the, the nicer looking panels if I can find a set, so. Definitely got some more cool stuff coming. So stay tuned on the channel. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.